Right. My name is Josh from PlumberSurplus.com. We're going to talk to you a little bit about tankless water heaters today. Uh, in front of me, I've got a couple tankless water heaters. This one by Rheen. It's the RTG 74 PVN and Emax EX160T and the Chronomite 208 volt SR30. Uh, tankless water heaters uh, are relatively new technology. Uh, sort of replacing the standard traditional tank style water heaters. Tank style water heaters produce standby energy losses because you know that water has to be heated that's in the tank and if it's not being used there's an energy loss. So tankless water heaters work a little bit differently. Uh, this one happens to be an electric tankless water heater. I'm going to use it as an example. Uh, we've got an inlet and an outlet. Water comes into the inlet, passes through a heating element, and once it goes through that heating element, heats the water, comes through the outlet, and you've got warm water. Really simple technology. That's basically how it works. Um, and also, many tankless water heaters, uh, in fact, those that have an energy factor of 0.8 or greater, uh, also qualify for a $300 um, energy saving rebate. Let's talk a little bit about electric tankless water heaters first. These are available in 120. Uh, 208, 240, even 277 volt for some special applications. Uh, great for single point. Uh, this chronomite, for instance, is great for a lavatory faucet, uh, bathroom sink, real low flow application, maybe half a gallon a minute. Uh, this will heat water up. Uh, uh, gas fired tankless water heaters obviously run on gas, that's the, uh, the fuel. This one happens to be a natural gas unit. They're also available for propane. The RTG here is a whole house unit. Uh, this one is indoor and must be vented to the outside using a category three stainless steel venting system. Uh, it can be vented through the roof uh, or through the wall. Kits are available for that. You can piece them together for your specific application. Uh, how you select a tankless water heater uh, is pretty simple. You need to know what your incoming water temperature is. Uh, sometimes it's called the ambient incoming water temperature. Uh, you also need to know what your desired output temperature is going to be. And you need to know what your temperature rise is. So you've got to find a unit that will give you a temperature rise uh, based on your incoming water temperature and your target temperature at a specific flow rate. So you look at all the applications that you're going to use your tankless water heater for, whether it's a shower, sink, kitchen sink, dishwasher, washing machine, uh, outdoor barbecue, uh, pool shower, and you find a unit that will give you a flow rate that heats water, uh, the specific number of degrees that you need to temperature rise for, and that's the unit that you pick. My name's Josh, and that's been Tankless Water Heaters with PlumberSurplus.com.